Oh, you're seeing the microphone. Oh, I'm seeing the microphone right there. See this? That's a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Good morning, Vietnam. What? <laughs> No. no, good morning, everybody. It's week 167. This is February 12th, 2022. Happy birthday, Andy. I think I just said everything. So you don't have anything you to did. say? You did. I have nothing to say. Happy birthday, Andy. It's my niece's birthday. Niece's birthday. It's my niece's too. Yeah. It's your niece's too. Yep. <laughs> well, hey, we got to do this one kind of quickly because we have yucky weather out there and Stacy still got to get rushed off to work and I don't want her to drive too crazy. I wanted to go slow. It's going to be crazy today <clears throat> with Super Bowl and Valentine's Day. That's true. Goodness. Yeah, your day before <laughs> all the stuff going on. It's like the night before Thanksgiving at a grocery store, right? Pretty much. Uh, okay. Well, last week I was 337 and this morning I was a little above that, so I was 338. So yay for me. I'm up a palm. <laughs> didn't, didn't get much fasting or... Uh, Oh, no, oh, mad. I tried and failed and uh, just pretty much feel like a big old lump on a log. Hmm. That says me lately. Aw, I'm sorry, baby. I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got to get back in the game. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just feel like I'm so off course with so many other things going on. This is true. That's how I feel physically. Last week I weighed in at uh, 158 and today I weighed in at 158. Well, at least you can go up like I did. No, you're right. Oh my goodness, the hot flashes last night were horrible. I had actually three last night, and the last one I woke up just sweaty mess. Had to get up and get my day going a little earlier, get in the shower, and feel human again. I'm sorry for that. I truly uh, am. I feel bad for you. Because <laughs> it wakes you up, too. So yeah. when you're tired. Yeah. Had a couple of really bad nights of not sleeping this week. It just got a lot going on and mm, just makes it really hard to function some days. I mean, yesterday I was so wiped out because I didn't sleep. Yeah. You know, I get through those phases. There are times where I get to bed by midnight and I'm sleeping until five or six in the morning and that's good. Mm -hmm. And then there are nights I'm not getting to bed until three, four or five and I'm getting up at five or six or seven and those are not so good. <laughs> Nope. So I think a lot of people struggle with that regardless of just life issues. You come by it honest. Your mom was that way. Unfortunately, our daughters are yep. getting same that same trait where um, they're just not, you know, they can't get to sleep, especially our oldest daughter, Lauren. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I can get to sleep, but then I, I've, I've had a couple – you know, times, several times where I've woken up and then I can't get my mind back to sleep. You know, it's like an hour and a half, two hours. And it's like, okay, I'll lay there in a light, light days. And it's like those days where you know that you got to get up in an hour. And then it's like, that was like five minutes ago and it's an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of in and out. And I hate that. Yeah. Those are the worst. And for me, I hate uh, getting up with an alarm because I'm always afraid. Uh, I, it's an, an auditory. Alarm. It's yep. an auditory thing because she doesn't hear so well. So, yeah, when you take those hearing aids out and you can't hear, you're afraid you're going to miss the alarm or so the then doorbell. I really or, don't sleep. Yeah. When I'm not home, she gets very freaked out because she doesn't know if she's going to hear something in the house if the water tank blows up or somebody yeah. knocks on the door or something. She doesn't hear that stuff. So she's I'm always, always thankful of Lauren when uh, last time Bill went to um, <clears throat> Wyoming, Lauren came home because I was not sleeping at all. So she came home for a couple of days that allowed me to just relax, relax and sleep because I know that she'll be able to be here and here, here and uh, I swear to goodness the things. So anyway, we actually did an egg bite video. Yes. So if you haven't cool. seen it, I know we were talking about this and... Um, we all, Bill always makes fun of me with my eggs because I like them, I like them dry. I don't like a moist, wet, creamy egg. And to be fair, <laughs> in the descriptions for these egg bites, it talked about moist, creamy egg. I'm like, oh, she's not gonna like this. 
but I went along and made them anyway. I'm like, I, I, I'll nope. do the video with you, and I'll even. Yeah, you hadn't even tried one until that video. Literally, hadn't tried one. <laughs> True I response one. on the video. Yeah, so I, I hadn't tried one. it at all, and I was like, Ugh. we see egg bites going through at work all the time. I'm like, mm, no, nope, because they talk about being creamy. I'm like, and that's they're gross. Expensive for those little egg bite. Things. Twelve ninety nine. I was paid attention yeah. last night. I was uh, on register, and so twelve ninety nine for a small box of egg bites. No way. So we did the video, and I have to say, I was a little nervous. He's like. Let's try the eggs already. <laughs> yeah, just just eat your, just, you were yeah you were talk 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 and I'm like eat your egg. Eat the your top egg. looked good, so it was promising, but no, it was. Good. Unfortunately, if you've seen the avocado video, you know I don't hide my face well when something doesn't taste good. Texture and things like that. Texture is a real issue. I have to say, I actually ate all four of my egg bites. <laughs> yep, and mine were gone too. And then uh, when we did this in the morning before Stacy yeah. went to work. And then when Julia came home from school, she saw everything laying out and everything. And I washed all the little cups out and everything. And she's like, what's all this? And, you know, so her and I played <laughs> with it for a little bit. She had a lot of fun putting in like peppers and onions and cheese and yeah. then pouring. The, and we, this time we did the ingredients first, then poured the eggs over it. It was, it was easier. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so then we made a little batch up for her and she really enjoyed them. Good. And she had fun playing with it and... Uh, yeah, so so we got to get more eggs. <laughs> so we're going through hey, eggs. I'll be at Costco today. How about I get more Maybe eggs? Maybe you could get some more eggs. All right, I'll get some eggs. You get some white ones or some organics or both. Okay. You guys sell big bulk packs. It's two two dozen, right? We have two dozen. I think it's like three, I'm going to say 349. Uh, that's going to change tomorrow. No, I don't think that You know that's how that right. goes. So, but when then we sell, I think it's almost, what is it? Four dozen, five dozen. Yeah, that, and then there's that big, big pack of white eggs. And that's eight forty nine. I was paying attention to pricing lately. I went to the store. Julia likes um, just the instant potatoes. <clears throat> yeah, the and it's a smaller one. pack, so I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get those for her. She Normally, buck, right? forever, 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 they've been a dollar. Right. About a buck. Yesterday they were on sale for a dollar thirty four. Well, that ain't bad. But it's thirty four cents. Yeah, really, thirty four cents. It's like the dollar store is not a dollar. It's a dollar twenty five for everything now. <laughs> and gone are the days of I remember when it was a dollar store. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I remember when gas was seventy five cents. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh well, that's really telling our age now. What can you do? But no, the egg the egg bite makers were very cool, and there were a couple differences that we explained in the video. Mm -hmm. of the sizings and then there's an insert that i love that's a sandwich insert that mm -hmm. only comes with the little one it doesn't come with the big one but then i found them on amazon so you could buy them on amazon and you could buy a four pack and put them in the big one so i mean there's a santa claus <laughs> you know and then bill got me a um, muffin top pan yep i saw a thing for fried pickles I it love was pickles. just cheese and pickle right just cheese and pickles and I also saw one that was similar to the fried pickle, but little, it was like a little pizza. pizza. Yeah, and I think they, I don't even know if they put a dab of pizza sauce, but I, I know it was did. cheese as a base and then a like, couple pieces of pepperoni yeah. or bacon or something on there. We'll be doing yeah, that. So, so we'll have fun with that. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just taking what you have and making it in a different way to make you not feel so stale or, you know, right. oh, I'm eating another egg. No, chop some stuff up, throw it in, have fun, make the mini bites, that kind of fun thing. Yeah. Yeah. So... Just having fun with our food. Life Very is cool. short. Play with the food. <laughs> right? <laughs> Life is short. Play with your food. It is. It is. And remember when you were a kid, don't play with your food. Yeah. Keep your eyes on your own plate. Just eat your own stuff. My dad's family was, keep your eyes on your own plate and you won't see so much. He was like, they they got less meat than me. I was never a big meat eater. Never, didn't ever, ever. I didn't want it. So my brother used to always sit by me and eat it. Hmm. Um and my mom, my mom was pretty good with it. She didn't put the meat on my plate. Um, but when we would go to my grandparents' house. They made you eat? My grandmother always insisted on making. We need a little thing up here. Therapy hour. I'm telling you, it was so horrible. talking about her trauma. Well, and here's the thing. Because <laughs> Julia is not a big meat eater either. No, she's And Bill's not. always like, she's got to have, like. No, mm -hmm. here, no, no, don't even put that on me because all I tell her is you've never tried it. So right. do me a favor, go ahead and try it. And if you don't like it, I'm not going to make you eat it. I just want you to try it. And there are a few things that she's tried mm -hmm. that she really enjoyed. Yeah. You know, so you just, you just don't know. 
And sometimes I don't exactly tell her what's in something. We had some spring rolls that had chicken in the spring rolls. And I just told her it's a spring roll. It's like an egg roll. It's got vegetables and stuff in it. She ate them. She loved them. And then when you tell her that there's chicken in it, she's not so keen on it. But at the same time, she's like, wait a minute. I really liked them. Can I have more of those? And I'm like, sure. You know, so it's not that you always have to like give her an ingredient list and tell her, hey, there is shrimp in this or there yeah. is. Just try it. And if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. Very true. That's all I say. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get Stacy going off to work here. And I hope everybody has a great day. And if you're doing keto, that you're sticking with it and you're doing well. And let us know in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. And if you got a special new, fun, cool meal that you're making that is kind of like inspiring you, uh, share it in comics so other people can do it and we can try it too. Yeah. Because uh, we're always looking for a different way to make dinner or have a snack or something we're gonna do that little muffin pan you know it's not really recipes or anything per se but just have fun with it like we did with the egg bake maker. something different yeah yeah so maybe we'll throw a little video up of that and we'll make like half the pan from something that stacy likes and half the pan well three quarters of the pan something that i like <laughs> and like a quarter of the pan for stacy what she likes right something like that and uh then we'll just try them on camera and tell you what we think Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Hope everybody's doing good and have a great weekend. Bye. Oh, and enjoy oh. the Super Bowl. See, I'm not a football person, so yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Maybe there's some keto snacks we could do for the Super Bowl with the muffin pan. Sure. Pre-game stuff. Like we're going to watch the game. but <laughs> Like we're going to watch the football game. We'll watch the commercials. I don't even know what you're on. the halftime show. I don't even know who the halftime show is. We don't even have cable or nothing. If it's on the internet or something, I can go stream it. Yeah. But we don't have... Like all the channels and cable. I don't know what channel it's on. Five, seven, 32. Hut, hut, hike. I don't know. Don't know. I like the Super Bowl commercials though, usually. Yeah. That's about it. It's funny that I used to play football. I used to play football, but then like people are like, oh, you don't watch football? No, I don't watch football. Didn't even know who was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Bengals and the Rams, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw something on Facebook. <laughs> Showed the pictures, and then and that's about all there is to it. I do like the football square things, like where you pick a square. And yeah, you're they actually the did uh, squares at Camas, um, so the for the state parks, and uh, we didn't have to pay for them. They're just yeah, it's just a fun thing. Just a fun thing, and they're giving out gift cards. And Monday is Valentine's Day. Do we even get numbers picked yet? Do we know what our cross? I don't know. I'll have are? to go back and look. Um, I have. I don't know if they've done that. Maybe today is going to be the ending of it. They'll send it out. But then Monday, we're playing bingo while we're at bingo. work for gift cards. Nice. You know, I, It's they, fun that they do fun little things like that for you. Yeah, it, it is really cool. Oh, my goodness. One of the, the things at Costco. Sorry. It's kind of funny. I was telling Bill yesterday. I, gotta know. I got a, um, <laughs> a kudos card, if you will. <laughs> And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, for doing a good and job. And we always have it on the wall going into by the lockers in the Yeah, I think room. most Costco's have that with the picture and a caption, like a note card that somebody sent right. in. Thanks and so the yesterday, they're like, hey, did you see your, your your picture up on the wall? And I was like, no, I didn't pay attention. They're like, no, no, on the, on the TV. I'm like, what are you talking about? I look up and across from our registers, it's a 65-inch TV. And so they, they're going digital. Oh, so, so now those... they're putting your picture with the comment card. It was actually kind of so, cool. So does it rotate through? It the... rotates through all of us okay. and it says meet our team. Um, oh, that's nice. And it was kind of cool because mine, uh, as in self-checkout, and it said uh, something to the effect of, Stacy helped me in self-checkout. I only have 15 employees, but if I could hire her, I would. I was like, oh, that was nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, those, those little... Uh... Pat on the backs are nice. Yeah. When you get recognized instead of somebody complaining because they've had a crappy day. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I don't know. I just, it was kind of funny, but it was surreal to see him like, ooh, wow, that's up there for everybody to see. <laughs> now I want to see it. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All righty. Bye. Bye.